Hello everyone, how very good of you to join and welcome back to, yeah, to Sleepy Hollow once more as uh, we continue progressing um, we do have actually a very important thing to do right now and that is city development. As we can see, yep, 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 we do not have enough workforce there right now, especially for the farmers and as we continue to grow, we have actually the, the problem here that for Sleepy Hollow we kind of like reach the maximum potential of upgrades right now. I would need to probably reduce the industry if I want to get more space out and more artisans in. So how can we push more artisans? Of course, we need to have more workers and farmers in Admiral's Demise. So this is actually the island that I would like to continue pushing a bit further um, to get more farmers and also to get more workers. What we can see right now is we already have a very decent production of workload and schnapps and also of bread, right? So the transition is actually really easy. We can just expand the workforce here while in Sleepy Hollow, for example, we don't need that much soup, uh, soap anymore. We don't need that much bread anymore or beer because we're reducing these workforces over there and we can just easily transition over. We actually have a surplus production there that is not good for the economy. So this is something we definitely will need to to focus on another thing we need to focus on is healthcare <laughs> as always people tend to die rather quickly and right here in the center somewhere yeah i'm going to get rid of some workers there screw me uh in this case here this is absolutely worth it though because we can get a, a hospital out with maximum range then for the whole city of admiral's demise to treat those people there as well as we get more workers we're going to get more sick rates there as well and this is something we need to tackle quite early on actually uh, next up, we continue with some some basic expansion of farmers. We have lots of timber, really, so there's lots of room to grow here at the moment. The only downside is right now fish. Something got destroyed here. Uh, let's go ahead and build us some three more fisheries. We're really low on the fish on this island. Let's also upgrade my warehouses there so that we get all of this in. And here I can then happily continue with the expansion. That is just great stuff. And this will make room to grow on Sleepy Hollow as well, right? I love how it all comes together then once we connect the islands. And you can just basically go crazy on the growth and accelerate this. And this is exactly what we do here. There is, by the way, also a fire station. Let's build it just for now. And then here a bunch more. The mines, of course, we keep. Unfortunately, we are really stretched on this island, right? Like this. But we still have room here as well. There is my timber production. And yeah, unfortunately, I cannot move it, but we could copy the whole bunch, right? So I can just take it over there. Lots of space. We got the pepper, we got the beef. I will not need to expand on these for now, so I can just easily copy my, my timber production over. No props. Let's just try and squeeze it into the, the corner there with 100% still, right? So as much as possible, something like that. There you go. Copied it over. No props. And with that, we can actually just easily get rid of it here. The thing is, it's dirt cheap, so I don't really care about the losses that I've just made there. And with that, yeah, we can have another district, another block with a pub and a marketplace somewhere around here. And then we can just continue with that crazy growth that is addicting at this point. Because, yeah, we have the timber, we have the, the resources. I wonder why I didn't do it before. <laughs> probably was busy with other things but that's just how it goes for now so we are really not beauty building in this right we are really just maximizing our gains that's the most important thing right now because otherwise uh, we would be in deep trouble at some point especially financially as we're already taking hits there so with the fleet perfect growth really thinking about growth on the fleet there it is a battle cruiser out it goes. We already have the next one commissioned, right? So the next one is already under construction. And with this one here, things change a bit because it gets easier for us now to, to defeat flamethrowers, right? So let's get this one over right away. A really massive shift. Um, the, the most powerful ship probably beside the ship of the line. Uh, they both have, of course, strengths and weaknesses, right? The ship of the line has more broadside damage that it, that it pushes out. Uh, well, this one here is very, very good against flamethrowers, against any kind of damage really incoming. I think it has way more hit points too. We are looking at 6,000 hit points. 
to 4,000 hit points of a ship of the lion, right? So this is this is pretty cool stuff. It does not do as much damage as a ship of the lion, but it's more sustainable. That's that's the important thing here. It does cost more, however, right? So 850 on the balance as opposed to 250. So I'm not going to be able to afford that many of these buggers there. Do we have some cool skins for this one too? Oh, that's a nice one. Also rather golden. And then a Battlecruiser Type 2070. So Android 2070 Steampunk Edition. Let's go for this, of course. Now, while uh, Admiral's Demise is growing, uh, we are actually not growing in every regard. I would like to take uh, my rum and... Uh, rum? Where are we producing rum? I think in Salsa, right? No, in Santiago. In Santiago. We still have a surplus of rum. That's okay. But I think for the coffee, we might actually running into a problem there. Yes. Negative one it is. Super important that we fix this while we can. Um, and that is then over here. Salsa Verde. We have our coffee uh, beans. And yeah, we do have still enough workforce. So I would like to go ahead. One, two, mm -hmm, three, and four. Right, so the ratio is 2 to 1, or was it 1 to 1? Actually, it's 2 to 1, yeah. So we built 4, and this gives me room for 2 more coffee roasters, and that's another 300 of rares that we consume with that. Let's go ahead and do this. And this is 4 more tons of coffee, um, so quite a nice boost overall to what we need then as well in Sleepy Hollow. Chips under attack, uh, I'm not too worried about that. We got also a nice military presence by now in the New World. And I'm happy with how things are. We could continue growing here in Salsa Verde a bit. Uh, honestly, we should probably, as we need that workforce. So it's all about a few additional districts then on both sides. So city growth, you might call this episode really, as we are trying to push those, those cities. And also, of course, all those productions that we established. And some of them are too high. So we need to adjust this to get good profits out of that again otherwise we overproduce that's never good all right this actually i need to check i wonder why my street is not being built here there it is admiral's demise all right admiral yeah yeah um i don't have any ship close by those two we can actually send the bell cruiser in just for the heck of it and have some fun with it. I would like to boost the battle cruiser though with some items, right? So we can increase its attack range. Uh, movement speed, that's all the sailing ships. Getting some basic items in. Um, and we also still need more cargo ships, of course, because we want to push trade routes. So let's build another one. And then we just wait on advanced weapons again. So in this case here, 15 it is, but we are already building a battle cruiser again. We should be able to build another one then right off the bat. All right, we are under attack here. It doesn't matter for me though. We can continue with the expansion. Uh, I would like to continue. We do have this uh, fire station there that I will probably not need long term. So let's just have those those guys here. All right, using my, my timber. With that, we have a good positive workforce again. Um, I need more timber. I especially need more advanced materials then as well. So timber is basic, right? And we might also have a look at some more bricks that we need and some more steel beams. And I probably should also get some windows over for some advanced buildings that we need then as services. There's my ships coming in. Oh, look at that. This is actually really cool. Destruction quest. And he would give me Sing Steel Double Hull, a legendary item. 50% uh, hit points. That is coming out. Of course we're going to do this, right? We need to destroy two frigates. They are down here. This should be super easy. And I think also they are at war with everyone, right? So the Admiral might actually damage them. Nah, he's not. Alright. But my ships are close by. My battle cruiser is close by. So let's just go in and destroy these two there real quick. That is a really easy quest, right? They spawned right in front of me. And in this case, we can take care of them. I mean, they just continue now with destroying my fisheries. Like it's a joke or something. All right. Continue what the Admiral started. All right. Down it is. I hope. There you go. And there should be a proof somewhere. There it is. And let's get this proof over. Ooh. Oh, the Admiral might actually set more ships in. Ship 
I mean, of course, we're going to destroy this frigate there now. It's already here, so why not destroy it? Very nice. But I'm a bit afraid of these ships here, so... This could be then the limit for my... Let's actually get this back to... Where is he waiting for us? Oh, he's waiting in Sleepy Hollow. Let's get those sh uh, that ship over with the proof. And that is just... That is just the perfect item for my first battle cruiser, honestly. And we're, of course, going to equip it with that. Further boosting its hit points. Uh, Shola Fatun, for a payment of 100,000, he would go with Ceasefire. Not that I think I would really need it, because Sean is not very strong in any world right now. Also, my harbors are well defended, so I can save the money on that as well. Your harbor is under attack. Yes, there he is again. Doesn't really matter. There's my ships coming in with the proof. Perfect. Perfect. Really. What a nice timing on this. And with that, we have 50% more hit points. We also have reduced damage from cannons, big berthas, and torpedoes. So this will be especially useful then when attacking a harbor area. Of course, the selling price of 175,000 credits is also quite something, but I don't really need it right now. Meanwhile, it's looking a bit better in Admiral's Demise again. The, uh, the sicknesses are gone. The only problem is the fishery now. Once again, yeah, destroyed. Uh, so I might actually need to send some fish over then as well again. And by the way, yes, also, yeah, we're down to five implants. Uh, some weapons would have been nice. With some towers, but I can't afford that. Absolutely not. We are out of influence. So I should look towards city development. And that's especially, of course, investors. Because that would give me influence. And for that, actually, we only need electricity for my engineers. And then we are ready to go. So why not do it, right? We have the tracks here. And I do have my city here. So I would just need to find me a nice, smaller opportunity here. Building a electrical power plant somewhere. Um, that we can then squeeze in. So we probably could go for two long term wise. One here and one here. Right. So we don't need to destroy that much in the center. That would be a valid in, in that case. So I think we could start here for that. Yeah, absolutely. And with that, we can actually upgrade all of the engineers in, in range already. Not that we're going to upgrade all of them. That would be not possible really so for that let's go ahead and continue now my train tracks right we have them over there they can just go along the the river and here they go over the bridge then perfect this is just perfectly working out and then we are actually going in here right we will nah, we don't need to destroy anything really we could take it here and there we have then the power plant absolutely fantastic how we can squeeze it in right and also here, let's have that road. So with that, we have the power plant also maximized its connection. Let's build it. There's no reason why we shouldn't. And we should have enough oil. We have. So the train is on its way. And with that, we have fixed the last demand attack. for engineers. Which is then paving the way now for investors. Really out here. This is my territory. There shouldn't be any attacks. But we really, really have no ships anymore. I need to protect already quite a few channels there. And especially here as well. The, the, the uh, you purchase shares. Let's purchase this back. Uh, and, oh, my second battle, cru uh, battle cruiser. Sea Cucumber, it's called. How that goes. Very nice. Once again, ah, my balance is tanking because of that. They're super expensive. And let's get it over there. So we got a fleet of two battle cruisers now growing. This one still needs to repair. And look at that. The uh, hit points is now up to 9,000 as opposed to the basic 6,000 version. So way more hit points once more. Loving it. And with that, we can grow the fleet just now. All right. Let's also give some fish there into my cargo ship. Together with more bricks, most likely, because we're capped on that anyway. Yeah. Getting those things over. I think weapons we have? Yeah, not really. Not that I really need weapons right now, anyway. The siege, still 30 seconds. I cannot I cannot do anything here while the siege is lasting, unfortunately. Alright, the Admiral, once again, comes in. And look at the flamethrower there. Totally wrecking those two ships off the line, right? Like, there's not even a chance... Plus, it looks so beautiful. 
And let's just see that we can take that. Yeah, you got a bit too close there. Too close to the sun. Uh, what is the sun doing there? Useless stuff. Nothing that I would need. Get this one back. Admiral's demise again. Being under attack. What is going on? Is he is annoying. Attack. I need I need some defenses. There is there's no way. Uh yeah, let's turn in the fish and the bricks so that at least we can supply Admiral's demise for now. Let's get my two battle cruisers plus the ship of the line. Let's get it down there for now. And start protecting this area here. This is actually the most important thing right now. So that we get it back on track there. And by the way, you can also change your skin there to something more like it. Alright, also, Alonso demands 50,000. Otherwise, he declares war on us. Alonso has grown quite a bit in the past now. <sighs> Lots of Alonso ships out there. Let's pay the 50,000. Let's do it for now. I really don't want to have another another area of work there right now. Another uncertainty. And Alonso has or is actually stronger than the Admiral right now. So I will not want to have another war there at my hands right now. And yeah, in this case here, the Admiral is moving with the ships somewhere. And we got them up there ready. Yeah, he's moving in here now. Glad that I've, I've, saw, I've seen this. Because I think he actually wants to go for Clampton there. But it's in the middle of my channel. I mean, sheesh. Uh, let's actually make the patrol there. Definitely want to get a bit more presence in here. And he's losing that. That frigate there, so he was really too close there to the sun, I should say. All right, uh, next up is actually in the new world. I would like to also start something real quick, and that's in Rocha, our caoutchouc production, right? And with that, first of all, I'm not going to have. I'm. Oh, this is a huge island, really, and I really still wonder why there's no rivers, right? So usually there's rivers in the new world. None of my islands has rivers. There's a river, a small one. That's about it. Miss Hunt has way more rivers, so she's got a very stupid island. But in that case, um, yeah. Oh. What was it? What what ship was it? My iron ship, okay. And that's the Admiral actually pumping in right now. Alright, let's take my let's take my ship of, uh, ships of the line there. I've got a bunch of them now. Kalimborg. Yeah, he really wants to know it now, right? So the Admiral is not up for, for, for fun anymore. He just wants to take islands there very aggressively at the moment. I don't know why these ships don't sail upwards as I tell them. So <laughs> this one here especially. Doesn't matter. This one's going down now too. Was a close one, but we lost the ship. For this, I would then actually like to go ahead and use my flagship. The wobbly grip, there it is. Because it's really just such a low volume, I'm not going to waste another one there. We've also lost a cargo ship for the rum there, so let's assign my next cargo ship, ne Neptune's Gift, to this. And I will need to build another cargo ship then as well. Right, fleet consolidated right now. Hmm. With that, we would probably have a chance at Tidiosa, honest. Nah, there's the flamethrower. I'm not doing this. We would need some mortars for that. Lucky us, we do actually have mortars in the new world, I think. There it is, right? Yep. We got a grape short mortar and... The cast mortar. Let's take both of these ships and probably take them home then again. And redistribute some of my ships there as well. And let's not forget also to always loot, right? Because it's so important, especially the pirate ships. Because sometimes, yeah, gold is okay. Sometimes there is a mortar that we just need. We need those special items to quickly take down a flamethrower when it comes to it. Ship under attack. 
<sighs> it's not getting any easier. What are you doing? Come on. There is specific waypoints on this trade route. Why are you not following this? Incredible. Sometimes the game is just too finicky for my own taste. Get over there. Luckily enough, we reacted very quickly on this. And now you can actually continue right on the waypoints, hopefully. Ship under attack. There's the next ships coming in of the Admiral. I don't know where he gets them. And this is also still way too strange for me. Uh, look at that, okay. Too close to the pirate there for my own. I mean, it's just a bit of damage, but still. Okay, Roja we have. Super important, really. I want to I want to start here with a smaller settlement ASAP. And also, uh, we have plenty in here, so we can actually make a bigger city out of that. But of course, Kautrick is the, the main attraction for me. Uh, let's just go ahead for the heck of it. And then we can once again build some blocks there. It's way too busy out there right now. Uh, and then let's have actually something like that. Really, I just want to add some variety there. It's a desperate move. <laughs> uh, and then we have some... The more dense one here. Let's actually flip them, you see. That's, that's how you can add variety real quick. And then we have here... Yeah, this one. And then actually we are going in with the marketplace. This should actually have the range all the way over there once we upgrade the streets, of course. Then I'm also going in with a smaller chapel. For this we, yeah, let's actually have this area there for the chapel. And then of course I still need to have some timber production starting here as far away as possible. Somewhere over here we can do this. So I'm looking at, let's make it three sawmills. And we need to hurry up about this because there's just so much damage out there right now. <sighs> Come on. Sean is also reinforcing some of his ships there again. Not particularly something I'm, I'm too keen about. I mean, we were, after all, <laughs> saying no to his ceasefire proposal. And yeah, let's go ahead and build those. So there you go. Rocha is starting now. With that, we'll be able then to soon also start our Kautrick production, which is really cheap, right? It just requires some farmers. And then I just need a proper ship that actually is brave enough to make a trade route with me for on, on this so that we get the, the Kautrick over. So that once we have investors now and engineers, they will then purchase bicycles. And this will hopefully turn the balance there. It should turn the balance for me because we need that right now. Otherwise, I will not be able to afford any more ships because we're really already at a pretty limit there with that. So far so good, and we continue onwards then with investors in the next episode. Stay tuned!